please rise for the graduation processional.
please remain standing as Alexis Ligon leads us in singing our national anthem. I kindly ask that all gentlemen remove your headdress during the singing of the national anthem. Ms. Ligon. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. Please be seated. My name is Charles Usley, and it's my distinct pleasure to preside over today's event. Before we get started, I do ask that you please silence all cellular devices. Also, please feel free to take pictures throughout the ceremony. Photographic surfaces will capture the moment, and we'll have the photographs available via their website. The ceremony is also being recorded by a digital copy and after today's graduation will be available. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Dr. Richard Hansen, Dean of the Harrison School of Pharmacy. Dean Hansen. Good morning. It is my pleasure to welcome the members of the university administration, faculty, staff, members of the class of 2018, family, friends, and guests. As the Auburn University Harrison School of Pharmacy marks its 133rd year, I'm delighted that you're here today for the commencement ceremony. At this time, I would like to recognize the platform guests and would like each of them to stand as I introduce them. I will start with the distinguished members of the Auburn University team. Ms. Sarah Newton, member of Auburn University's Board of Trustees. Dr. Stephen Leith, President of Auburn University, Dr. Bill Hardgrave, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. George Flowers, Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Taffy Clayton, Associate Provost and Vice President for Inclusion and Diversity, Ms. Jane DeFalco Parker, Vice President for Development, Ms. Gretchen Van Valkenburg, Vice President for Alumni Affairs. You may be seated. And now, the Harrison School of Pharmacy leadership team. Dr. Paul Jungnickel, Associate Dean for Academic and Student Affairs. Dr. Brent Fox, Associate Professor and Commencement Marshal. Dr. David Rees, Dean for Research and Graduate Programs. Dr. Dan Surrey, Associate Dean for Curriculum and Assessment. Dr. Salisa Westrick, Department Head, Health Outcomes Research and Policy. Dr. Timothy Moore, Department Head, Drug Discovery and Development. Dr. Gordon Sachs, Department Head, Pharmacy Practice. Dr. Kimberly Braxton Lloyd, Assistant Dean, Pharmacy Health Services. Dr. Karen Marlowe, Assistant Dean for the Mobile Campus. Dr. Vishnu Supermaniam, Assistant Dean, Research and Graduate Programs. And Dr. Charles Woosley, Director of Student Recruitment and Master of today's ceremony. You may be seated. We also have two very special guests with us today. First, I'd like to introduce Dr. Bell Barker Walker, Executive Director, Medical Outcomes Specialist, North American Medical Affairs with Pfizer Incorporated. Dr. Barker Walker is our keynote speaker today. 
and then Mr. Daryl Craven, Associate Director, Retail Trade Relations at Alchemies, and current president of the Auburn Pharmacy Alumni Association, class of 1982, Harrison School of Pharmacy. You may be seated. In addition, joining us today is Mr. Stephen Geis from the Office of Accessibility, and he'll be interpreting today's, today's ceremony. Seated at the front, on my right, are the faculty members of the Harrison School of Pharmacy. Would you please join me in recognizing these distinguished faculty, guests, and administrators. So before I turn it over to Dr. Leith, I just have a couple messages for the class of 2018, and I'll keep it very simple. Uh, first, for those of you graduating with a professional degree, this will be my last time before you actually have your degree where I can leave a lasting message. Study for your boards. It's really important. More importantly, I want to make sure that you know how important you are to the future of this program. And I encourage you as you go out and practice and in your research careers to, to keep in touch with the school. The things that you do both as a graduate of this program and as an alumni impacts the things that we do here on campus and we greatly desire for you to stay connected uh, throughout your journey as an alum of this program. And then finally, congratulations. Uh, you've come a long, hard road, and I know each and every one of you have a different story to tell along the way. Uh, my heartfelt congratulations to you as you go off on the next journey. With that, I'd like to introduce Dr. Stephen Leith. Uh, he was uh, formally inducted as Auburn University's 19th president on March 29, 2018 and he's here for some congratulatory remarks. Dr. Leith. Good morning and congratulations. As graduates of Auburn's Harrison School of Pharmacy, you join a very distinguished group of professionals who exemplify the power of disciplinary knowledge as well as rigorous training and those who are going to change the health and well-being of our society. Dean Hansen, pharmacy school faculty, staff, I'm delighted to honor you as well as your students today. Auburn's Harrison School of Pharmacy is a leading institution not only in the state of Alabama, but throughout the nation for its role in transforming the pharmaceutical industry. This class, you are now members of a record setting class whose abilities have earned more residency placements in professional programs than any class in the school's history. So congratulations. Your future successes will be reinforced by three things. Your appreciation for the work you do and the people you serve, your commitment to excellence, and your determination to transform the quality of lives for others. Auburn has always been known for producing outstanding pharmacy professionals. So it's with great confidence that I know you'll carry on a tradition that was begun by Auburn Pharmacy graduates 133 years ago. Some of you are going to serve as trusted pharmacists in your local communities, providing a human touch to your patients and your neighbors. Others of you will further your profession through advanced research and study. But regardless of the path you take, I encourage all of you to search for ways to inspire others to share this great vision we have for Auburn, this vision to be a truly world-class academic research and service university and the true spirit of our land-grant heritage. From gaining hands-on experience as you care for your patients to making new discoveries with far-reaching impacts in the realm of biomedical sciences, I am confident you will carry forward the spirit of the Auburn Creed, and I am confident you'll use the knowledge you've acquired here to make a meaningful impact on our world. So on behalf of Janet and me, we join with you, your family, your friends in celebrating this incredible academic milestone. Know that regardless of where your adventures may lead, Auburn will always be home for you. So congratulations, War Eagle, to all of you. Would Jonathan Luke Britton please stand? On behalf of the Harrison School of Pharmacy, I would like to introduce our student marshal, Jonathan Luke Britton. 
Mr. Britton is a candidate to receive his Doctor of Pharmacy degree today. Luke has distinguished himself both in academic achievement and service to our school. Mr. Britton has recently accepted a residency with the East Alabama Medical Center in Opelika. Luke is from Smith's Station, Alabama. Thank you, Mr. Britton. I now call on Paul David Cavallaro Paratori, who is the former Pharmacy Student Council President and is a ca candidate to receive his Doctor of Pharmacy degree today. During his time at Harrison School of Pharmacy, Paul has distinguished himself with notable leadership. Mr. Paratori has accepted a residency position with Seattle Children's Hospital in Seattle, Washington. Paul is from Newburgh, New York, and will now present the student address to our graduates. Mr. Paratori. Oh, that's a long walk. All right, wow. Um, I cannot believe that I'm here. Um, it's been a long, long, long road for many of us, um, and now being up here and looking at everybody, it's just kind of hitting me all at once. And um, luckily for you, I have prepared remarks, because uh, normally my life could be, um, unscripted would be a really good descriptor, so. All right, congratulations. Today marks a turning point in our lives the members of the class of 2018, both in our personal and our professional lives. We are in this room today to engage in pomp and pageantry, but the career, the life ahead, and the responsibility with which we have been entrusted is solemn. It carries a moral burden, an obligation to take the mind that has been developed through years of didactic and clinical training and use it to disseminate knowledge and understanding, correct what is patently wrong, and care for patients and providers alike. Some of you have made great sacrifices to be here and see this day. Some have taken roads less traveled to arrive at this place, but all have worked with determination and perseverance to be in this room and deserve recognition for that accomplishment. A new chapter is opened today. The work is begun, and we leave this place to further it. We are stepping into a place of immense privilege and growing authority. Life is not fair. We hear this phrase said all the time, but we always forget the second half of that phrase. Life is not fair, but we should never be satisfied to leave it that way. And those who have the power to affect change have a responsibility to see it done. There will be many in your career, and in life for that matter, that will tell you what you are supposed to be good at, what you should like, whom you should hate. Strike your drum, set your pace, and find your voice, because it is in these years you finally apply your professional judgment the boldness and the moxie to combine your knowledge and wherewithal to promote good health and alleviate pain and suffering. Today, we graduate in a time of great challenge to the healthcare enterprise. Healthcare spending in 2017 topped $3.5 trillion and will account for 20% of the economy by 2026. Prescription drugs are projected to be the fastest growing in spending over the next decade. We spend more on healthcare than any nation on earth, and yet at the same time, we lag behind countries like Japan, Costa Rica, Singapore, Cyprus, in terms of life expectancy. And of every 100,000 people who die before the age of 75 in the United States, 112 will die from complications or conditions that could have been avoided with effective care, the highest rate among developed nations. I mention this because pharmacists stand in a gap where though that number does not sound high, we can be the force that helps to correct it. We are part of this system, and we can be a part, nay, we can be the solution to these challenges. Our healthcare system has faced challenges before. It has weathered mass outbreaks, severe doctor and nursing shortages, lack of funds. The question that faces us now is whether we will be among those who lead the change. 
Legislation will not save us, and no one seems to know how to solve our problems anyway. The innovators, the leaders, the forward thinkers in this room, sitting in these chairs, those not afraid to advocate for a system that provides effective patient-centered care for all, at the end of the day, you will be the ones to save us. A healthcare team does not function efficiently, even with all of its members at top production, unless their respective scopes are aligned and synchronized in a way that maximizes all contributions at each step in a patient encounter. But resisting the desire to silo our practice, to isolate ourselves, is difficult. Even we, the humble pharmacists, fall prey to the downsides of the values of independence, self-sufficiency, and autonomy. They are human values, after all. But we cannot both insist on our role in pharmacotherapy on the healthcare team and laugh and roll our eyes when doctors and residents make a dosing mistake or miss a drug interaction. We also cannot afford to be satisfied to lick, stick, and pour. If we want our territory, we must claim it and we must own it. Not with passive, aggressive self-satisfaction and arrogance, but with the complex interplay of the combination of boldness and humility. Whenever something goes wrong, whether it is in theory or in practice, people always ask, where are the leaders? And if by chance we meet again in 10 or 20 years, I hope I don't hear you asking that question. Because you know where they are. Don't ask where the leaders are. You are sitting in this room. Leadership is not found in earning a title. It is a constant responsibility. And leaders are found at every level of society, and consequently, at every role in pharmacy, whether you work at CVS, in a hospital, or perhaps run a hospital pharmacy, or work in managed care, or even, yes, the government. As leaders in our field, we must see the value in collaborating, collaborating across specialties, but also within our little corners of healthcare. So much of what we do does not stop at affecting us alone. I would like to quote the political theorist Edmund Burke when he wrote, to be attached to the subdivision, to love the little platoon we belong to in society is the first principle of public affections. It is the first link in the series by which we proceed towards a love to our country and to mankind. Together, we can become more than we were before. Within our institutions, we are a small division of humankind. Within our families, we are a small group of citizens. And within our cities, we are the limbs of the body of our society. To paraphrase a favorite musical of mine, so much of who I am made up of is made up of what I learned from you. Never forget that every decision you make has the potential to profoundly alter the course of another's life. As burgeoning healthcare providers, we know this truth deeply. We must work to keep it at the core of our mindset and at the impetus that drives our vocation. Now, there is a lot more that I could say, but listening to me is not the reason you're here. Um, and honestly, most remember little of these kinds of talks, but if you remember nothing else of what I say here today, Tuesday the 8th of May, 2018, Remember what I say last. I will leave you with the words that I gave the class of 2020 at their white coat ceremony. Go. Be healing and hope. Be wisdom. Be grace. Be bold. Be caring. Be change. Be life and light and love. Be a pharmacist. Thank you. Today we're honored to have as our commencement speaker, Dr. Dale Barker Walker, Executive Director, Medical Lead, Medical Outcomes Specialist, North American Medical Affairs, Pfizer Incorporated. Dr. Walker received her Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy from Auburn University in 1985, and her Doctor of Pharmacy degree from Campbell University in 2001. As Executive Director for Medical Outcomes Specialists with Pfizer, Dr. Walker is responsible for a team of medical professionals, primarily pharmacists, and in her role, she provides clinical information 
and implements pharmacoeconomic analyses for managed care customers. Prior to joining Pfizer, Dr. Walker worked within the Department of Defense Healthcare System at Fort Benning, Georgia, and in Great Lakes, Illinois. While in Illinois, she also worked as adjunct faculty and preceptor for the University of Illinois and the Midwestern University of Chicago. Dr. Walker serves on the Pharmacy Dean's Advisory Council, is a member of the Auburn Pharmacy Alumni Association and Prescription Club. Dr. Walker established the Dale Barker Walker 85 Endowed Scholarship in the Harrison School of Pharmacy in 2010. Because of her generosity to Auburn, she is a member of the Foy Society, Petrie Society, and 1856 Society. It is indeed my pleasure to introduce Dr. Dale Barker Walker. I don't even know how to begin after that. Thank you so much for the introduction. So this is how I'd like to begin. War Eagle. War Eagle. Good morning, President Lee, Provost Hardgrave, Susan Newton, Dean Hansen, special family, friends, and guests, and especially the class of 2018. Our PhDs, our master recipients, and our PharmDs. 33 years ago, when I was sitting right where you are, I never imagined that I would have the privilege and honor to spend a few minutes with you this morning, hoping to share a few words of encouragement as you move into this next season of life. And I do find it very interesting that each of our messages, although delivered differently, are resonating with the very same message. But for me, when I got the email from Dean Hansen, and he reached out to see if I was willing, I thought, and guys, I, I'm not kidding. Do I, as someone who nearly flunked out of pharmacy school, have anything uniquely valuable to share? And I really almost did. But the other thing I'm worried about is, can I do this in seven minutes? So, um, but my sweet husband reminded me of the now famous words of Yoda from The Last Jedi. And I promised my daughter I wouldn't try to do the Yoda voice, although I really wanted to. <laughs> failure also. Yes, failure most of all. The greatest teacher failure is. So fortunately, I learned a lot from my near miss. I buckled down and I've gathered a few pearls of wisdom along my 33 years as a pharmacist. These are the things that I pray my own children will understand and practice. And I would like to share that same message with you, the one that's on my heart, speaking to each of you as part of my family. So I began with War Eagle. What does it mean? It means hello? It means goodbye? It means hey you? To me, it means camaraderie. It's a common bond, a shared language. In fact, it's an entire language built around two simple words, war eagle. At the core, it's an acknowledgement that we are mutually connected to the Auburn family. And whether you came into this family four years ago when you walked onto the loveliest village for the very first time, or if you were born into this family and wore orange and blue on the way home from the hospital, the greeting is still the same. It does not distinguish one from the other. We are all members of this amazing family. So I'm gonna use each letter of War Eagle, hoping that one day you may remember this and share my pearls of wisdom. And you can participate. So what's the first letter? W, okay, W. W stands for wisdom. Proverbs says, blessed is the one who finds wisdom. And in order to find something, you must seek it. Seek wisdom in all that you do. No doubt you have accomplished great things to be a part of today's ceremony. And you have acquired a tremendous amount of knowledge. But wisdom is different. 
Wisdom is the insight gained from seeking to understand those that have gone before you. Believe me, there is life after pharmacy school. And there will be career choices. There will be relationship choices. There will be ethical decisions and difficult financial situations. But know this, others, others in this room have walked the same path, have gone through similar trials. So seek out wisdom from your parents, from your family, from your clergy, from your spouse, and from those you hold in admiration. I didn't always do that, and I made mistakes along the way. But I encourage you to seek wisdom, listen to the lesson, and apply what you learn. A, A is for appreciation. Appreciate the path that has brought you to this moment. Appreciate and thank those family members and friends that have encouraged you and prayed for you at every turn. Be thankful there were easy days as well as the failures because I know that you have learned something from both. I have no doubt, and Dean Hansen mentioned this, that each of you have stories and there are stories of extreme sacrifice. So remember the effort that you have put into this journey. And when seeds of doubt begin to creep into your mind, and I promise you they will, remember, remember and be forever grateful for the privilege of this Auburn experience. Know that it will be one of the foundational bedrocks of your future, so appreciate. What's next? R, respect. Respect yourself and make wise decisions. Respect and love your family and keep them always in mind as you perform your duties. Even, though, even on those extremely frustrating days when I firmly believed that my negative attitude might have been justified, I tried to see each patient as my daddy as my mom, as my brother. And I tried to care for my patients as I would want my family cared for by you and others. Respect your employers and know that they have promised an honest salary for an honest day's work. Texting, Facebook, phone calls, that's not what your employer has hired you to do. Never forget that our Auburn Creed speaks of work and hard work and give your employers the very best that you can give every single day. And most of all, respect your patients and their caregivers, keeping the patient at the center of every decision. So respect. E, be empowered, be fully empowered to exercise the gifts skills and talents you have been given. Give yourself permission to take care of yourself as you can never take care of others when you are not fully whole. Be empowered to do the right thing. And I love what Mark Twain said, it's never wrong to do the right thing. So be empowered. A, advocate. Advocate for your profession. I know that you, the class of 2018, have spent countless hours seeking to understand the political environment and learning what you can do to affect positive change. Yesterday, we had the privilege of seeing many of you receive awards that you've worked and accomplished. And as earlier mentioned, the largest group of residents in the current and past classes are going forward. All of that is incredibly exciting, so advocate. Listen to and advocate for your patients to ensure they receive the very best care and medications possible. Advocate for those who can't and be the voice of reason needed as we look toward an ever-changing future. Okay, are you with me? What's next? G, give. Let's face it, you are here and you are blessed. With that blessing comes responsibility to give of your time, your energy, your talents, and your money. 
Give back to this university or the school of your choice to lighten the burden on those that are coming behind you. I encourage you to begin a habit of giving, even if it's just the value of two cups of coffee a month. I say this knowing the incredible financial burden that many of you face in the coming years. But I also see the impact how a lot of small gifts combined together can grow into large opportunities. So I encourage you, I beseech you to be a part of something bigger than yourself and give back. L, love what you do, guys. The options that are waiting for you outside of this arena are absolutely limitless. If you find that you wake up one morning and you are dreading going into work and the grace for that environment has expired, seek wisdom from your family and find something that you love. Start your own business. Move from the hospital to retail or retail to the hospital or heaven forbid, come into industry. Go back to school. Just know that this degree opens up many doors that you have permission to love what you do. At 40 years old, I quit my job and joined the class of 2001 at Campbell University to receive my PharmD. And it was one of the most wonderful experiences to become a poor student again for two years. But you can do it. And not only love what you do, but enjoy the journey. Today marks a huge milestone in your personal journey of life and an even more momentous landmark in your professional career. Please seek to enjoy the day and celebrate the passage. We have no idea when our journey on this earth will end, so soak in the adventures and enjoy the journey. As one of my wonderful elderly World War II patients used to say to us at Great Lakes Naval Hospital, he would walk into the Warfarin Clinic and we'd say, how you doing? And he taught me, he said, I woke up, I stood up, it's a good day. I will never forget his words. So my friends, with those war eagle words of encouragement, I want to go back to the beginning of our conversation about family. We were each born or adopted into the family of our upbringing. Four years ago, you were welcomed into the Harrison School of Pharmacy family. And with that came a membership into the Auburn family. But today, today I would like to extend your family connections and be one of the first to welcome you into the specialized field of healthcare and this amazing world of a pharmacy professional, a researcher, or a te teacher. It's what you've worked for. It's where you belong. It's home. So welcome home, my family. Welcome home, Godspeed, and War Eagle. Thank you, Dr. Walker. Today, we'll be conferring degrees for all academic programs in the Harrison School of Pharmacy, the Masters of Science and Doctor of Philosophy in Pharmaceutical Sciences and Doctor of Pharmacy. We're honored today to have Ms. Sarah Newton, member of the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, joining us today to confer the degrees. Ms. Newton. I would first like to call on Dean Flowers for the presentation of candidates for conferring of the MS and PhD degrees to which they are entitled. Trustee Newton, on behalf of the faculty of the Graduate School, it is my pleasure to present these students for the conferral of their degrees to which they are entitled. Will all the Masters of Science candidates for graduation please stand?
by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon you the Master of Science degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will all Doctor of Philosophy candidates for graduation please stand? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon you the Doctor of Philosophy degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Congratulations. And now I call on Dean Hansen for the presentation of candidates for conferring of the Doctor of Pharmacy degrees to which they are entitled. Trustee Newton, on behalf of the faculty of the Harrison School of Pharmacy, it is my pleasure to present these candidates for the conferral of the Doctor of Pharmacy degrees to which they are entitled. Will all Doctor of Pharmacy candidates for graduation please stand? Well. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Auburn University, I do now confer upon you the Doctor of Pharmacy de degree to which you are entitled with all rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto pertaining. Congratulations. Candidates, please be seated. I would now like to introduce Dr. Brent Fox, Associate Professor in the Harrison School of Pharmacy. Dr. Fox will present the candidates, Trustee Newton and Dr. Flowers will present the diplomas. Dr. Fox. Good morning. <clears throat> First, our students completing requirements for the Master of Science degree. As your name is called, please come forward to receive your diploma. Mohammed Al Magrabi. <laughs> Mohammed Jamil Al Muslim. Ayman Al Seda <laughs> Heba Arif <laughs> Darshini to say. Molly Fadden. <laughs> Lauren Marie Lucas. <laughs> Graduating in absentia, Ryan Heslin. Next, our students completing requirements for the Doctor of Philosophy. As your name is called, please come forward with your major professor to receive your diploma and hood. 
Yunus Abdallah and Major Professor Clark. Yes, sir, Alatawi and Major Professor Hansen. Gladys Akong and Major Professor Kavukchen. Haley Shelley and Major Professor Ramapuram. <laughs> Shawan Wang and Major Professor Shen. Graduating in absentia, Muhammad Fahad Aldasari, Yanwei Philip Lee. <laughs> Continuing with our Doctor of Pharmacy graduates, hooding all candidates will be Dr. Paul Jung Nickel, Associate Dean for Academic and Student Affairs. Graduates, please remain seated until you are directed to stand. Anna Rose Victoria Abangan with honor. Austin Ward Allen with honor. Mary Catherine Alls with honor. Cameron James Baker with honor. Leanna Elizabeth Barker with highest honor. <laughs> Megan Lee Barnett. <laughs> Octavian Lawrence Barnett. Devin Scott Bow with high honor. <laughs> Carrie Lee Bernhardt. <laughs> Jasmine Cor Bellina with highest honor. Carol Branham. Jonathan Luke Britton with high honor. Lauren Brown with honor.
Shatora Cerise Brown. Nathan Lee Browning. <laughs> Melissa Elizabeth Burns with highest honor. <laughs> Zane Shikali with high honor. Andrew Christopher Gerhard Connor. Austin Martin Cook with honor. Joseph Winfield Cotton. Brittany Lynn Croxton with honor. Cassandra Jo Curry. Marcus Kutzinger with honor. Lauren Edwards Dahlgren with honor. Kelsey Abigail Dobbs. Nicole Marie Eagle. Nicholas Graham Ellison. Blake Douglas Enfinger. Basam Dahan Ismail. Morgan Nicole Fancher. Elise Ferret Favreau. Kyle Kenneth Finelli with high honor. Christopher Dustin Finley with honor. Morgan Tyus Fisher with highest honor. Joshua David Francis. Kelly Garcia Gandhi. <laughs> K. 
Kayla Michelle Garrick. Christina Singh Gill. <laughs> Kayla Higgins Glover. <laughs> Molly K. Granberry with high honor. Kelly Marie Groover. <laughs> Lindsey Brooke Hamrick with high honor. <laughs> Catherine Kendall Haywood. Rebecca Mann Henry with high honor. Francis Lee Hoffman with highest honor. Amanda Delane Holloway with honor. Rachel Elizabeth Horn with honor. <laughs> Brittany Rumsey Horton with highest honor. <laughs> Rachel Marie Howarth with highest honor. Ashley Leanne Hudman. Joy Nicole Jacobs. Anna Brooke Jaramillo with highest honor. Robert James Jenkins with honor. Brandon Wayne Johnson. Amber Nicole Keaton with honor. Catherine Michelle Q with high honor. <laughs> Mion Kim with highest honor. <laughs> Sun Yong Kim. Amanda K. King. <laughs> Madeline Aubrey King with highest honor. <laughs> Hannah.
Hallie Marie Knight with highest honor. Lavika Yumesh Kumar with high honor. <laughs> David Crockett Lamson. <laughs> Daniel Amay Landry. James Kent Landry with honor. Brittany Sue Langdon with honor. Laura Elswick Lawrence with high honor. Caitlin Danielle Ledbetter with highest honor. Jenna Lauren Lee with highest honor. Kenneth Sang Lee. Morgan Nicoli with high honor. Allison Renee Lesage. Mason Lindskog with high honor. John Thomas Walker, Lou Allen with honor. <laughs> Stennis Walker Mason with highest honor. <laughs> Logan Elizabeth McCall with highest honor. Mallory Ann McGowan with high honor. Vincent Thomas McKitt. <laughs> Tiffany Alyssa Mead with highest honor. Kiba Hadea Masoom with highest honor. <laughs> Taylor McKenzie Noel Moody. <laughs> Tiffany Leah Mumford with high honor. Elizabeth Marie Murray. <laughs> K. 
Carolyn Wood Newman. Gabriel Mills Newman. Elizabeth Shelby Newton with high honor. Joseph T. Wynn. Adrika Justin Obiaco. <laughs> Emily Victoria Olivier. <laughs> Paul David Cavallero Peratori with high honor. Chad Thomas Parker. <laughs> Jacob Parker. <laughs> Pooja Sunil Patel. Cody Ashana Francis Polk. <laughs> Margaret Elizabeth Parafeet with honor. <laughs> Christopher Ryan Pizatoski. Farley Alston Poldnitz, Jr. <laughs> Emily Arzonico Powell. <laughs> Caitlin Sullivan Prather. Randy Pruitt with high honor. <laughs> Dong Hyun Pyun. <laughs> Nathaniel Rombacher. Charles David Reeves. <laughs> Daisy Savannah Reynolds. <laughs> Elizabeth Leanne Reynolds. Emily Crawford Rivenbark. <laughs> Christopher Thomas Robinson with highest honor. <laughs> Anne.
Andrea Elizabeth Rocky. Tia Lynn Samlowski. Timothy Cornelius Simpkins. Warren Douglas, Douglas Smith with highest honor. Christopher Dale Squires with honor. Vicki Stoudemire with honor. Jacqueline Michelle Sutherland. <laughs> Meredith Hope Seifert with highest honor. <laughs> Tara Elena Talbot. Melissa Marie Tittinger with high honor. Anthony Michael Todd with highest honor. Jonathan Alexander Trawick. Lindsay Renee Trotter with high honor. <laughs> Jessica Stafford Sikoris. <laughs> Emily Grace Shaw. Ashley Willis Turk with highest honor. Cameron Daniel Turner. Charles Vondre Walters. Helen Lee Walker. Mary Hannah Walters with high honor. Cassandra Nicole Watson. Aaron Cassidy Weber with honor. Caroline Elizabeth Welch with highest honor. Brittany Michelle Whitehead with honor. Carly Joe Williams with honor. <laughs> Renee
Renisha Michelle Williams. Alexander Ray Wilson. Kellen Mahesh Wilson with highest honor. Ryan Wong. Jennifer Rache Wood with high honor. Joseph Trenton Wood with highest honor. Rachel Ann Wood with high honor. Robert Taylor Young. Matthew John Zambo. Mason Shelley Ziegler. Please join me in congratulating all of our graduates. Thank you, and please be seated. We're honored today to have Mr. Daryl Craven, President of the Auburn Pharmacy Alumni Association, with us to deliver a message to each of our graduates. Mr. Craven earned his Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy degree from Auburn University in 1982, and currently works at Alchemist as Associate Director, Retail Trade Relations. Mr. Craven. Hello and War Eagle. War Eagle. As Charles mentioned, I am a 1982 graduate of the Harrison School of Pharmacy and newly elected as the president of your Auburn Pharmacy Alumni Association. What you may not know is the Auburn, Auburn Pharmacy Alumni Association is the longest serving association on campus here at Auburn University. And while we've changed over the years, we still remain the same. I want to welcome you to our ranks. It's my privilege to let you know that the association gives you your first year's association dues for free. We're eager to continue supporting not only the alumni of the Harrison School of Pharmacy, but also the faculty, staff, students, and others through scholarships, event sponsorships, awards, recognition, and promotion of the school and its goals. It's important to me that you leave Auburn knowing that you are well prepared to take on the world as qualified pharmacists and researchers. Auburn does an incredible job preparing you for what's in store in the coming years. Believe it or not, you are ready. We place a small gift on each of your chairs to commemorate your graduation and membership to APAA. We hope these will be useful to you as you serve your patients and continue exploring your various scientific fields. The Auburn Pharmacy Alumni Association wants to be a resource to you throughout your career. Please do not hesitate to reach out to us. 
As you make your way through your career, I hope you think of Auburn fondly and find your way back as often as you can. I know I can't get back often enough, and this was a good reason to spend a day in Auburn. It can't be a better place. Remember each day as you save lives, change lives, and make lives better that you too have a life. Don't work so hard that you miss out on the happiness of living. I'm confident that you will achieve your personal and professional goals, but don't forget to have a little fun along the way. Remember to hold one thing at a time, do the next right thing, and continue cultivating the person that you want to be. So in the end, I'm gonna borrow some words from something we not all know very well, the Auburn Creed. I believe in the human touch which cultivates sympathy with my fellow men and mutual helpfulness and brings happiness for all. And because Auburn men and women believe in these things, I believe in Auburn and love it. War Eagle. Professions throughout history have distilled their professional ethics into a few well-chosen words. Pharmacy 2 has such a code prepared by the American Association of Colleges of Pharmacy. Joining us today is Mr. James Orr Walker. Mr. Walker graduated with his pharmacy degree in 1957 when Auburn was known as Auburn Polytechnic Institute. Mr. Walker spent his career at Walker Drug Company based in Birmingham. Walker Drug Company became the Southeast largest as well as one of the nation's largest independent wholesale drug companies. In 2000, Auburn University's Board of Trustees officially announced the W.W. W. Walker Building Junior. That building houses the Harrison School of Pharmacy. In honor of Mr. Walker's father, the naming was made possible by Mr. Walker's family. Mr. Jim Walker is with us today, but is unable to administer the oath. Representing Mr. Walker today is his granddaughter, Dr. Keyword, Dr. Helen Lee Walker, a 2018 graduate of the Harrison School of Pharmacy. Dr. Walker, would you please come administer the pharmacist's oath to these graduates? It is my distinct honor to administer to you, my fellow classmates and graduates, the oath of a pharmacist. I will ask that you recite the oath paying careful attention to the responsibilities that we each have and will continue to assume as pharmacists. We should hold all aspects of this oath in the highest regard and always remember that we are morally and ethically bound to the statements that we are about to make. Now, stand, raise your right hand while remembering to insert your own name as you are instructed to do so. I promise to devote myself to a lifetime of service to others through the profession of pharmacy. In fulfilling this vow, I, state your name, I, Helen Walker, will consider the welfare of humanity and relief of suffering my primary concerns. I will apply my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability to assure optimal outcomes for my patients. I will respect and protect all personal health information entrusted to me. I will accept the lifelong obligation to improve my professional knowledge and competence. I will hold myself and my colleagues 
to the highest principles of our professions, moral, ethical, and legal conduct. I will embrace and advocate changes that improve patient care. I will utilize my knowledge, skills, experience, and values to prepare the next generation of pharmacists. I take these vows voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibility with which I am entrusted by the public. Would the graduates please be seated? Now for those of you sitting in the audience, I know these graduates recognize that your support, both emotionally and financially, have contributed to their achievements. As such, and in recognition of your support, I would like to recognize several of these special groups that are with us today. First, would the parents of any of these graduates that are here today please stand? Thank you. And as we've already heard, would any grandparents of today's graduates also please stand and be recognized? Thank you. And lest we forget, how about any spouses and children of today's graduates please stand? Thank you. As you've already witnessed, there's a great legacy among pharmacist families whose daughters and sons, yes, granddaughters and grandsons, follow in their footsteps. Would all the pharmacists in the audience please stand and be recognized? Would the graduates please rise? To the graduating class of 2018, this is your day. You've worked hard and you've now earned your degrees. We're proud of you and we pray that you will experience great success in both your personal and professional lives. You're now part of Auburn University Harrison School of Pharmacy family and history. And with interest, we're going to follow your career and revel in your success. Graduates, you may now move your tassels to the left to signify your graduation. Congratulations and war eagle. And lastly, now I ask that everyone in the audience please stand as we honor our university with the singing of our alma mater, led by Ms. Ligon. The words are printed inside the cover of your program, and I would ask that you please remain standing after its conclusion for the recessional. <laughs> 